Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Dice Folk, the creature collecting dice builder roguelike that I'm very excited to be checking out again here today. I played it for the Let's Try series a few days ago, and you guys seem to really want some more of it, so hey, we're going to be starting a series or mini series, depends how much you guys enjoy it and how much you want more of it. But we unlocked the Storm Talisman faction the last time we played, so we're going to go in with them. We have all of these different chimeras, or kind of like monsters, that we can pick from throughout the run. You can get ones from other factions, that's why one was highlighted there, but in we shall go to see what we can get up to. We have the dice smith, but we don't have any money, so let's go to our first kind of chimera statue, where we can pick our first character. But if you didn't see that last video, I'll go over the super basics just in case. Oh, look, we have different... Uh, Whenever you enter or exit lead, deal a damage to a random opponent. So that's whenever we, like, rotate here. Step one, I think we do maybe, like, a little bit of a clash. On attacked, gains strength for the rest of the turn. Okay, so we have to basically play all of their dice. We get to play their attacks for them, but we do get to choose when it happens. So we can rotate this to the right to make this guy in the front, and then we attack then, but... I don't know if we want to do that, because this guy likes to be attacked, you see? You see? Uh, we'll get rid of the idol, because it's just... It's basically a dead draw. But rotating lets us do one damage. I think we'll go for a clash. We'll go for a smack. And then we will rotate, because we'll theoretically do a damage. Oh, wait, and yeah, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. One entered and one exited. So, we also have guard... The ability to basically say, I'm not going to take this next hit. We'll go for the Clash. We could have put you back in the lead, which actually probably would have been a better call. But we'll go ahead and Clash so that we don't have to worry about that damage. We rotate, damage, damage, Reckless Attack, which means that we cannot attack again that turn. But obviously, wasn't an issue. We didn't have anything else to go for. Okay. Spiky Buckler. Whenever attacked, deal damage equal to the attacker's strength to the attacker. That seems really good. The intelligence or int is the blinking value found in the Chimera's ability. Determines how powerful that ability is. Huh. Okay. So we're going to check our first one here. We can either take this one or wait and try and find another. Abil grants one intelligence to its allies for the rest of the turn whenever you rotate. So it'll activate other abilities. So like, you know, these ones could be, you know, could be kind of nice. Do two damage whenever we rotate. So if we just rotate a whole bunch, it could be good. Here's the thing. If we wait, if we don't pick this one now, we can come back, kind of, sort of come back and pick it. When we get here, we have the option to choose it as well uh, as another option. But the second we pick one, we can't get another kind of chimera here. So we get one per zone, almost like Nuzlocke rules. I didn't even think about that until now. So guard up. We'll go for the smash. We will... I guess we'll go for the attack. It is a free two damage, but we also... You can see this guy does six damage, so him not being in the front is a little bit... A little bit tough there. So you have a random action. It could be any of these things. It will probably be a clash. Let's go ahead and free rotate, meaning we can choose which way we turn. I'll have you be in the front. It's okay. Ah, okay. So that random can hit anybody. We'll do this because it could be the clash. It was not. And then we'll give you a little bit of a smacking. Okay. Mm. So you are going to have to attack. We could swap to somebody else. I do kind of like... Because you have the ability to uh, attack back for your damage. So if we're willing to just take that one big smack... That guy is gone. It's a little bit spooky to have all this HP missing. But still. I think it's worth it. We can find, uh, like, berries and potions, basically, to heal up one individual Chimera. So it's not that big of a deal. 
uh, for example, maybe the broodberries there. First things first, let's look at the Chimera Shrine. And I'll probably take one of these two. Spell can be consumed to trigger mana-based abilities called spells. Okay. On spell, so is it like going to be a thing where I can click it? I mean, that actually sounds kind of nice. Definitely getting a big, like, rotation kind of build energy out of this faction so far. I think let's say yes. I don't fully want to wait because of a reason we'll kind of show off in a moment. This turns into a treasure chest, which will give us some good stuff instead of us... Oh, grants an intelligence to the chimera of your choice. Uh, strength, max HP. I'm going to give this all to the only one that's like actually uh, a chimera <laughs> that I'm going to keep. Grants an intelligence to the one you keep. There's no point to give it to you, but there's no point to give it to these if I'm going to get rid of them. If I upgrade these, it's going to be nice for later. So they'd be doing two damage whenever I rotate. But again, just kind of curious. Okay, so it just fizzles. I don't, that's interesting. I wanted to see because maybe there was going to be an item out there that could uh, scale off equipment. That's the reason I tried that. Because we got to try things, you know, this is the early part of us playing the game. This is where we try out things that will be, you know, we'll realize they're stupid later. Some chimeras like this one can trigger their abilities on command. I can simply click on the chimera to trigger its spell. But it'll cost mana to do so, so I have to keep an eye on it. So we can do that whenever. Seems to be the case. Got the buckler here. So we'll just say sure. Go for the Reckless Attack. Okay, we can only do it once a turn. Seems to be the case. Yep. Gotcha. Alright, we're, we're learning a bunch there. What is this random? It's mostly... Uh, okay. We'll move you to the front. We'll put on the guard. This is going to be mostly a clash. But it wasn't. <laughs> The rotate does nothing because there's nobody left. I'll just leave myself here because we can go ahead and kill. Cool. All right. So it looks like so they, we now know they need to have at least one intelligence to get more. Like I said, I thought that maybe there's going to be equipment that shows up with this faction that could scale off of it. Lightly heal that chimera of your choice. We'll go for this one. While we are probably going to replace it in the future, we're not going to do that this moment. So this is all stuff we get for free. Revive or lightly heal the Chimera of your choice. We get a full health for everything, and we get four bucks, which is not a lot. So I don't know. I, I, I think it's a real genuine question. Which one we want to take the Chimera at? Cursed. When this is equipped to a Chimera, it can never be unequipped. On rotation, deal three damage to all opponents. On spawn, if in the lead, gains two intelligence for the rest of the battle. If not, it gains plus two strength. That's pretty good. Passive, plus one strength. On attack, inflict three bleed. I mean, the asteroid belt seems obviously like a logical thing. If you consume the... Chimera, or you get rid of the Chimera. Let's call it that. That sounds less scary. Do you get the item back then? Because theoretically, that's n that's not unequipping it. You do normally get the items back, but I don't know if that's going to be the case on a cursed item or not. We could find out and then leave you for last. We'll, we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. It's at least going to be helpful for the time being. We can go to the Dice Smith. Alright, so we can buy faces for our dice. That being said, we don't really have the money for this stuff, and I don't really want to buy poker chips. These are kind of like one time use potions. Alright.
Oof. Good. Bang, bang. You can rotate again here. That's pretty good, man. Because we can just, uh, we could attack, but we could also just go for the rotate. Click to do the other rotate. It is a random, though. So, like, you gotta be a little bit careful. Cursed chest. On spawn, attacks the most vulnerable opponent once. Whenever it exit lead, inflict three damage on a random opponent three times. That seems really good. I'm doing it. Scroll Master. Abandoned Tent gives us the ability to add an equipment slot to a Chimera. This usually is... Okay, we could buy another Chimera. When an ally gains strength, attack a random opponent once. I don't know that I'm going to go for that. I think we'll, we'll leave it. Just to be clear, it's the same one, right? Like, I can't just kind of like... All right. Figured as much. Interesting, interesting. Kitsuna, I have not seen you before. On turn start, gain an amount of strength equal to the opposing leader's strength for the rest of the turn. Okay, so the entangle is... Uh, it makes it so they can't move when they try to move. Jesus! We don't have, um... The thing we don't have is scaling. We have really good burst damage here. Rest, revive and strongly heal all chimeras. Slightly increase random stats. Bonus equipment slots. I don't know. I don't know. You don't care about your stats. So I'm actually going to sew a pouch. This is interesting, because yeah, the other run I was like, when would I ever, in my head, I was like, when would I ever not just get the stats if I can, you know, afford it without losing? Target an ally, it gains two strength for the rest of the battle. Target an unused die, it becomes re-rolled. Hmm. I feel like we can do better than those for the type of chimeras that I kind of want to build around, which is sort of like rotation based. No more opponent dice. When there's no more opponent dice, attack the opposing leader. So we might actually leave the guard. You have the most damage? More or less. Alternatively, who has the shield? You have the shield. So we can do this. We'll give you the shield, and you will get attacked, which is good. We like that. And then we'll rotate this back. We were kind of hoping that you moved to the other direction, but hey, there's nothing we can do about that right now. All right, we can get you back to the leader. Good, good, good. So one of them has to attack. I'm going to have it be the one that does two damage. Turn end, if not in the lead, heal. Okay. Not bad. So they got the rotate and the random taunts. Doesn't really matter who's attacking there. But I'm happy to get you back in the lead. Man. It's pretty good. Juicy meat. Passive. Five max HP and two strength. Sure. I'll probably end up getting rid of it. The reroll, there's no reason not to replace these. These are basically uh, duds. They are improper rolls. They, they're, they're nothing. Uh, I think we save our money for the next floor, but I, I will take a double look here. A double look. <laughs> hmm. 
plus one strength. So this doesn't, the thing is this doesn't scale on strength, which is why I'm like, we're going to have to figure out some shenanigans in order to get scaling. Because I've been able, the three times I've played this game, I've gotten scaling to go wild, you know? Um... Target an unused die. It can be theirs. So this means I do get to attack back at the very least. So I don't know if that's worth it to, to say no. I think we get the freebie. We rotate this. What's your thing again? Whenever you attack, inflict bleed. That is actually bad. Bleed is whenever you rotate, you take damage. That being said, I am willing to take this hit, and then we do get to attack back as well. Not great. The re-roll, here's the thing. Am I that excited about the re-roll? Not really. But, it does kind of help at the same time. What else can this be? It can be a clash. Oh, it's probably the worst thing that it can be, so I will re-roll it to a random, which honestly is pretty annoying. So we enter the lead. We do get the, uh, the painful bleed there. But I think I'm willing... Ah, oh God. Am I willing? What can this be? Pretty much anything bad. Target a die. It's used without triggering the effect. Heals 50% of the max HP of the entire ally team. Because if I do this, I get the bleed. It's pretty rough. I don't know if I want to use my heal already, you know? I think let's see what this is. Okay. Wanted to see what that was first. So if we rotate, you take three. Which is not great. Which is why I think I might use this. Oh, boy. I know, pal, I know. So this goes down to two, is that what it is? It goes down by one each turn? It doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah. Boss swap. If the boss is not in the lead, its team rotates. Otherwise, idles. Okay. So if I rotate, you die. But I can obviously use the heal potion. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the Clash right now so that we can get more value, at the very least, out of that sucker. We'll move the boss into the lead because he already is, so who cares? And then... Do I care about saving you? Not really. But I, I'm i going to do it. I'm going to be a good guy. Even though you're going to take a whole bunch of damage, so how good of a guy am I really? Man, you got put in the lead again, too. That is that is some tough luck on the RNG front. So we'll use up this because it's nothing. Good. We'll give you an attack. Rotate right so we know you're going in the, in the front here. And we rotate again to get the extra damage. Good. Scary, but good. Didn't want to use up my potions there. Heals received by the items holder provide 50% more HP. During battles, strength gains provide 50% more strength. No more opponent dice gain four strength for the rest of the turn. Oh, boy. Um, I'm going to grab this for, like, later. I mean, maybe I doubt it's during battles, so I doubt that the order of operations on this is going to matter at all. Next zone we go. Back up to full HP. 
Looking for another Chimera? <laughs> Stone Hand. Choose one. Ring of Gluttony. Unequip revives or fully heals the whole team. Unequip grants plus one equipment slot to its allies. Unequip the next Chimera to appear in a shrine will be iridescent. I don't know what that means. It sounds like a shiny. And I'm curious about what we can do with that. This Chimera is shining brightly. I've never seen anything like it. Exit lead grant 5 strength to new ally leader. Exit lead grant 5 strength to its allies for the rest of the turn. Uh, yeah. It's a, sh it's a shiny as well, so we'll do that and we'll try and we'll place you and see what happens with the curse. It goes away. Okay, so that's good and bad. It, the the bad news is it means that I won't be able to, I won't be able to get this back. But the good news is you can do things like that. Grant five strength to its allies. So we kind of want you in the lead now. Yeah, we have two that like to exit lead. I wish we could do that, but oh well. But yeah, we're, we're taking the shiny. I don't even care. I don't care what the other thing is going to be. Check the bonfire. There's a lot of chests now. What do you got? When enter lead, three strength for the rest of the turn. Passive five max HP. Once per battle, ally team gains, gains gold equal to the strength. That's that's some scaling. It's a little bit spooky. I kind of like if I put this on then we're in trouble. Enter lead 3 strength provide 50% more. It's really not that much. So maybe we just chill a second on that. Gold for strength increasing equipment on spawn if health is not full gain 4 strength for the rest of the battle. I mean, you can, you can have that for now. It's not cursed or anything. So, a pouch. Looks like we can have up to five things. If I do this, then you know what? I'll, I'll take it. I do like that they let me at least change the order just for, like, satisfaction. So, okay. Okay. If we rotate from you into you for the lead, then we're in a good spot. So let's wait on the elite. I want to find like a normal shop. Okay, we have a couple clashes. Okay, perfect. That's 17 damage you have there. Hard to be mad at that. On attack, inflicts t entangle, which makes it so we can't... Uh, ooh, we can free rotate. Inflicts amount of poison on the attacker equal to half the attacker's strength. We'll let this rotate randomly. When KO, deal its strength as damage to allies. This freaking damage, man. We could try and rotate to have you ba back in the lead, but this is so much health. If I rotate you back in the lead, it's not necessarily much better. That's also scary. We could at least do the extra damage, but that's... Inflicts an amount of poison on the attacker equal to half of the attacker's strength, which is... It's a lot, because we have a lot. We're, we're kind of... We're really countered here. So it's 12, or I, I'm going to be taking uh, a whopping amount of poison. I do need you gone. 
That's the that's the truth of the matter. Okay, we do have the ability to, at the very least, get a shield. This is when attacked, though. Uh, the good news is... Okay. We got this. That's the good news. Holy. The strength... Strength doesn't increase our... Our enter or exit lead things, right? Two max HP to so the chimera of your choice. We're going to put it on the one that has the reflection. Brood tree. Battle start grants leech to the opposing leader, but when the battle ends, get eight max HP. And then it gets consumed. Battle end, get two intelligence forever. On battle start, get entangle on every ally. Oh, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad, but two intelligence forever is really good. We'll do it. I'll do it, but we're going to be looking for some kind of like a, a healing here. Heal you up. There we go. Say, there we go. That's what, that's the big benefit for uh, picking your Chimera early. But again, I'm looking for a shop. There's two branching paths down here after one single fight. Okay. This is the, the man who's going to poison us. Based off of half of our damage. So the second we rotate, we're in trouble. The thing is, I won't be able to rotate. So let's just get rid of those. And then we're going to get this and we won't be able to rotate again. But we have to do it. Like, what's the other option? We can put that on you since you already have it. I'm willing to take that poison for now. Okay, we were able to get there. We'll take that seven. That's such a sad noise. We got there. We got there. You get the permanent two intelligence. Okay, we got a dice smith. Good. We should have a good amount of money. 76. Okay. Free rotation. Yes, please. Rotate to whatever direction we choose. Target ally gets two strength for the rest of the battle. Uh, these are appealing now. I think I'll take it over the Reckless Attack, maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. Over Random Rotation? We like rotating. Without attacking, the leader deals an amount of damage equal to its strength to all opponents. A die that does not roll randomly. Trip the leader lightly hurts itself. We're going to work on it. We're going to work on, on making that die a, a good one. So do we... I mean, we have the elite. Let's just work up towards that chest to get our heals. Strengthen one. We'll do this, but... It's a little bit... Mirror the last action. Rotate left. Do you have the ability to do a re-roll? Which I would love if that was not a clash. Ah! Last action re-roll. Okay. So enemy range, target any opponent, and the leader will attack it. That's that's better. That's that's better. We can't we don't want to really go for the reflection one right now. Okay, good. We want to rotate you into the lead. That's a lot of freaking damage. Then we reckless attack, and then we rotate out once more for another schmackin'. Okay, good. 
Good, 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 good. Random rotation. So if we re-roll this, does it just go to the next one? I think so. It goes up in order, so it goes from left to right. I think we actually just have this naturally, right? Yep. Yeah. I was going to say, that if you go into the lead, we definitely have this for sure. Nice. Thank you, Mr. Otter. Attack all token. A one-time, like, just AoE burst. Scroll master. There's a chance. There's a chance I'll take it. Losing out on asteroid belt would be sad. When there's no more opponent dice, attack the opposing leader. Hmm. If I take it, I'm not sure what I'm doing on the next zone. Because we're going to be offered one in the next zone. I could... Uh, this is just... This is better until it's not. Like, I don't really want to invest in this guy, is the thing. Thought we had that on. He also has 15 bucks, and we don't have 15 bucks, so... That temporarily solves the problem. And by that, I mean I just don't have to think about it. So that's kind of nice. Ooh, boy. That, I mean, right, that right there is the dream. But then look at this. Bonk. I get a whole bunch of poison, but that fight doesn't go on any longer. 34 damage! Lightly heal. Okay, perfect. It also doesn't put you back up at full, so you get the little, little extra damage there. Abandoned tent is always always one of these? I think so. Black Market, 19 bucks. Passive grants a small chance of dealing 100% damage when attacking. 20% chance to do 100% more damage when attacking. On spawn, grant regen to a random ally three times. On spawn, gain 10 gold. On turn end, lose one gold. That's like a speed run upgrade, more or less. Two regen to random ally three times. It's good. Is it great? I'm not positive, and thus it's a little bit spooky to uh, make it a guarantee. Pretty unlikely for me to make that into a nothing face, but what else would I reroll? Roll that into the next one, which is, I think, like, choose who is the lead in the lead, I think is what it is. That's a, it's a one in six that we get anything out of that. This is a guarantee, theoretically. Yeah, leader swap. Target any Chimera, its team rotates to then make that the leader. Okay, perfect. I mean, it's so much damage. It's it's like it's too much damage to be clear. I could do the attack all, but like it's a waste. I think. I think we want to clash now. Once per turn on attack, inflict. This is a free rotation. We could have it be just the four damage, and that's it. Or we could make sure we get rid of the Dendaroth, who has the 10 damage. I think that's a better call. So that we just don't get into the situation where we're screwed over by that. I think that's just better. And we have this healing. 
So we do have to use Trip, which is the leader lightly hurts themselves. Three damage. Okay. Good to know. All right. Beautiful. I think we skip this. You get four more damage. Do I care? I don't know. I think we I think we do. Can we come back for it? No. So this basically comes down to probably like, do I want you? Do I want to go for the dice smith? I think going for the dice smith is a bit better. Target an ally strengths up. To be clear, you cannot replace this one. Alright, let's fight the elite and feel a little bit butt clenchy about it. Probably should have saved the heal for after this, but oh well. When attack, get three gold to the attacker's team. Okay. Cannot attack and must be attacked in order to wake up. Perfect. Energy Blast is a full-on attack for all of them. I might as well just... It's without attacking, too, technically. But just in case this is bad. I think that when... If we... Yeah, okay. I just wanted to be careful. But the way that it would have worked is if I would have waited until you were here and I had the attack left and I had to use it, it would just fizzle. It just wouldn't do anything. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. All right. I like the squad. Passive. Ooh. 13 max HP. Lose gold up to three times. That's like a final fight kind of a thing. Some free rotates. The obvious call is like put it into here. Because we have nothing there. But free rotations, we, we love them. Uh, we really, really care about exactly who's in first. Gargullet. Charge, gain one intelligence forever. Show off. Who poisoned me? Why am I, why am I, po why am I poisoned? Oh, it's because it's at turn... Okay, it's at turn start. Gotcha. Yes. All right. So, we want to be careful. We want to rotate to you being in front. Perfect. I mean, that's pretty silly. Rotate four more times in a single turn. We'll go for the AoE. We'll kill everything there. I guess we give you the ch charge and this. I mean, you get attacked back. No, you don't because energy shock doesn't count as an attack. I mean, what what else am I going to do about it there, though, right? Guys, we do get the heal. Everyone gets, everyone gets poisoned. Lucky. Um, so we're going to have a clash. Move you back in the front. If we're going to have a clash, we do need this to be done first, I think. Well, this actually just kills you, doesn't it? No. This, sh this sure does. I was thinking that it would be like a clash and then we get attacked and then we attack back again because of uh, Spiky Buckler. Attack once per battle, gain six regen. 
Passive, 12 max HP whenever you get KO'd, one strength down forever. Passive for intelligence, when you attack, lose a gold. I, I like that for you quite a bit because that's 11 strength up plus the 50% on the other guy. That's kind of nuts, right? It's getting into pretty stupid territory. Uh, and I don't really want to be attacking with you anyways. All right, let's check our Kaim... Well, we can check the Traveler first. Mm -hmm. I got a healing equipment. What do you got? On spawn, if not in the lead, gains five regen. If not, gain three. Sure. Curse chest. Let's let's chill out. Let's get our Chimera. Okay, good. We have a mirror. When entering lead, attack the opposing leader. Skips idle. Ooh, wait, we can mirror, can't we? Mirror leader swap. Oh my god, we can actually use that to our advantage. We have 46. Depending on yeah, where we go there. Okay, good. Cool, 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 cool. Bring you back in the front here. Yes, you can attack me for six, I suppose. I'll allow it. Bonk. Oh, wait. What? Deals damage equal to the attacker's strength to the attacker. Uh, it's not. It's like, it's like doing our base strength or something? Huh. It's disappointing. Why is it doing our base strength? It doesn't say that anywhere. All right, we'll see what happens. Go a little random with it. All right, well, welcome to the welcome to the front, pal. Get a little smacking. You can play too. Deals 100% damage for its next attack only. Does it stay? Wait, does that stay between rounds? It sure does. Okay. Um. I don't really care too much. I mean, you can use your taunt. Yeah, you have to. That makes it so he's the one that you have to attack. That's fine. <laughs> don't really care. You obviously get the most strength from that. So now would you do would you do nine? Because is it doing our base damage? It should say base strength. Because everything else in the game scales off of your actual like full on strength. From what I've gathered. It's unlikely that we will Well. Let's see what we get for random. Okay. Lucky. Very, very lucky. Very, very lucky. I'll take it. Thank you. It did not have to go that way. It just did. So Chimera Shrine, we are looking for our final Chimera. Kind of. Enter lead, attack the opposing leader is just truly incredible. It is sad to lose that one thing, but whatever. Might as well give you some of this stuff. Truthfully. Truthfully, you are probably a better one to have in front. At this point. It's been real. I'm, I'm taking it and I'm not, uh, yeah. That's just so... I can cl so clearly see how good it is with my setup. 
Um, okay. That I I'm not I'm not I'm not chancing. We get more healing and money this way. It's just so good. Strengthen. Okay, good. Micro heal. Uh, you know what? You can micro heal right now. How about that? When you exit lead, the new leader gains guard. It has no effects. Huge. See, yeah, I did eight back. So, yeah, without explaining it anywhere, it just, um... It does your base attack. So I will, would like to change it out. Removes buffs on the opposing leader. It's fine. Go right ahead, pal. Let me just do my turn first. How about that? He does get rid of the two regen, which is like ever so slightly annoying. We're already good if we just move you back in front. Yeah, this just works better. It just works better. Lightly heal the whole team? Sure. It does make it so I can't use the Knight Scimitar. Uh, we'll probably use that pretty soon. Team gains an amount of gold equal to the team leader's strength. Wow. Last potential for the Scroll Master. We gotta, we gotta not grab those. We really gotta not grab those. It's hard to see a treasure chest and say no. I find it hard to believe that we'd swap. Deal damage equal to the attacker's strength is different than the words when attacked. Um, so, yeah. We're going to say no, though. Check the curse chest. Passives just get 8 max HP. When attacked, self-inflict frozen. sure at that point you can take a take a hit a little bit better bonfire stats we could do stats or we could do i think we just do equipment because i think this is a, a very s equipment scaling build more than others uh let's attack and let's leave this we'll leave that chest open but we'll remember not to just to not actually take it and then we're we're golden Sleeping. Okay. Please get lucky. Okay, 39. I gained 39 gold. Yeah, unfortunately we don't get to... Yeah. Dude, really? Wow. Okay, at this point, I don't want to waste that other stuff. That was unlucky. It's about time, though, right? <laughs> that we... <laughs> makes sense. Uh, so we can... If we reroll trip, I find it hard to believe anything else would be a more logical reroll than just making sure we don't have that problem. Unlucky as well. Okay. Um. Well, at least got you. We got you out of there. Not the best, not the worst. We lightly heal the whole team. We could give you the scimitar. Okay. Don't touch that. <laughs> don't touch that. Unlock the most options so that we can go back if we want to. Okay, strength up on you. We 
rotate right. Left, right, then it's not going to necessarily help. Bummer. I think we just take the freebie of getting you in front for the free attack, though. I do think that's the call. Turn and inflict burn to the opposing leader. I would love to get just get rid of that right now. Oh, shoot. We got random rotation. Exit lead. New leader gains guard. Do have to do that. That's that's a bummer. That is a bummer. Random. Random. So it's an attack. We just don't know what it is. We hope we go left. Okay, good. Perfect. So we can move you back in the front for like a really good smacking. This is kind of just... Oh, miss? Miss? So if you, is it like if you random and then you hit the random again, you... Are you okay? I'm so sorry. Now I feel a little bad. Okay, we have a clash. Move that there. Then we just move you back. After we've dealt with the RNG, basically. Do this, and we actually do get to do the nice clean five. I will get rid of the spike shield if something better presents itself. I didn't realize that temp strength didn't work for it. Shop Elite. Turn start, deal one damage to yourself. There's definitely situations where that's useful. Passive. Four max HP and two intelligence. Obviously, I know who would like that. I mean, also, we should probably just do that. Uh, We know who would like that. You'd like that. Turn start, if not in the lead, small chance of increasing ally... Leader's strength by 50% for the rest of the turn. I have so much money. I would love a uh, dice smith. I do feel like there has to be one on every, like, area. So we'll do that before the elite. Okay. I'll random taunt because I do... Oh, oh, wait. Random taunt. Okay. Yes. The... All right. Leader swap. I think we random it and hope that... Yes. Hope it goes there because then the universe smiles upon us greatly. And we move you back into the front. Willing to have a, a clash if it, you know, makes you happy. then I would rather have you dead, for sure. Ooh, you got all of the regen? That is such good RNG. We love to see it. Uh, we reroll the trip. For obvious reasons. Lucky. All right. We got our luck back there, that's for sure. <laughs> we got our luck back indeed. Oh, man, man, oh, man. Berry bush, two max HP, two max HP. I do think I actually put it on you. Because then we can afford to take more clashes, basically. That's the reasoning behind that. Uh, strengthen up. There's no reason to take this, is there? Oh, yeah, there, yeah, there is. Yeah, I mean, we don't, we don't have to use these. The only thing that's the problem is the obvious, like... Self damage one. But I think that's just okay. And then this is attempt dice for a whole fight, right? Yeah. We'll probably take that. 
If I really feel like I need it here, I'll use it. But I think that we're just going to save that for the uh, the boss. After this is used, all unused ally dice are rolled. Wait. Oh. I see. Annoyingly, I need to get you attacked. Uh, I need to get you attacked in order to do something. We should have. Should we have? Yeah, I guess we reckless attack. Well, we don't want a reckless attack. We lose it. Well, I have no gold to lose. Okay, all right. Uh, maybe we'll get the um the one. No. Rip. All right. Now this is good. We swap to you. We clash so that we can actually start playing. Okay, good. We have the energy blasts. <laughs> okay. Uh. Get out of here. Random taunt. Sure, whatever. Congratulations, you played yourself. We get the random. Works for me. Cool. 20 bucks. Turn and heal its allies for one. No point right now. Free rotation. Two dice that are pretty likely to roll a reckless attack is not good. For obvious reasons. I would call, I would say that's probably a mistake. But it's fine. Alright, 35 bucks. We'll double check the black market before we go into our final boss here. Uh, Target Knight, uh, Ally Chimera, it fully heals. So what is on this dice? Just a bunch of attacks. I don't even know what the hell any of those are. Inflict an amount of poison equal to the ally leader's strength to the opposing leader is... We, we've won. <laughs> we've, we've won. We just need to get our, our mans in front. Who are you? Spell. Attack all opponents once. Meat shield, an ally of the boss gains taunt. <sighs> I don't know the I don't know if this is the turn that we do the poison. It probably is, even so. Do this and then we rotate right, it's not good. We could do a reroll. Okay. You know, it actually isn't as bad as it seems. I'm going to have you take that trip. Because then we do get to do this. 47 poison. So 47 damage. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Trade the attacks there. Uh, we'll give you the meat shield. An ally of the boss. So it doesn't matter who it is. Random rotate. All right. So yeah, they apply a bunch of uh, burn to me. And then this guy does the... Um, 
does damage to everybody. Yeah. Target any Chimera on the ally's side, and it then attacks the leader. Interesting. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. You didn't. You didn't. You freaking didn't. Good God. Gave me the AoE Giga Blast. It's another one done, son. What a build. What a squad. Wrath Talisman. You can now start a new adventure with this Talisman. You can now loot breakable equipment. Okay. The Wandering Hero has now appeared. You can explore this new biome and discover its fauna. New enemies may appear in the Grimlet Mangrove. Mangrove. Sacred texts. My my question. New, uh, new recruited Chimera. Is that just the freaking target dog? Isn't that the target logo spot? What's going on? You can recruit this new Chimera. Okay, I like you. Man, uh, what a freaking squad that ended up being. Have we grabbed anything from here? Have we seen anything from here? We have seen Lunago. We, we, we've seen a couple of you. We've seen, we've seen you multiple times. Okay, Gambos. Whatever these ones are at the end look like legendaries to me. Can you get the... Can you get, like, the, the final guys? But either way, Door Emblem has reached Salem's Door. There's trial mode. Clearly, that's going to make things tougher for us. Uh, but, yeah. Man, oh, man. Very, very cool. We've got the first three there. Kind of like the vanilla characters, I guess. I really want to see what this guy's all about. But, hey... Uh, really enjoyed it. If you guys want more of this at the start of this new kind of like series, mini series type thing, you're going to have to leave likes, comments, that kind of stuff. That's the thing that will help the algorithm pick up this series and show it to more people and thus make me more likely to cover this game. I really enjoy it, but only if you guys enjoy watching it. So, hey, be sure to let me know. And a good way to do that is to do those things. As annoying as they are to say and hear, it is unfortunately true. The, the website runs on that stuff. So if you want to help out, that'd be wonderful. But alas, alas, go pick up Dice Folk. My name is Retromation. I cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you are into, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.